Laura and Zoe, that was so strong and smiley and, and positive. But uh, you said that, that meeting them and also other mums that you met when you were at the centre, that their situation is difficult and at times it can be heartbreaking, can't it? Well, you know, I, I went down last week with Lucy, who obviously, you know, I've never had a day's problem with her. And you don't realise how different their lives are. You know, they can't just get up in the morning and say, oh, let's go to Tesco's, mm, you know, yeah. and take their daughter along. And, and when we were there, we, Lucy and I were talking to a girl, Izzy, who um, I think she's 15, and her mum was saying, you know, that she quite likes a boy in, in one of the classes. And she was going, Mum, you know, like, as if to say, shut up. And I thought, they're just exactly the same yeah, children tra trapped in this yeah. disability, which is heartbreaking. Mm. Um, you know, and I wanted to get involved, and we're going to... Lucy and I have been talking about, you know, because my, my son sings as well, and we might even ask your boy. Mm. Might, like, get Shane down, even you, if you I want. I was going to say, you're not asking me. Well, yeah. even you. <laughs> I love his hair. We're put on a little <laughs> summer. Even you. Even yeah. you. No, they want to make money, they don't want to lose it. <laughs> no, we're going to put a summer concert, not, not especially to raise money, but just for the children, because they yeah. really, really identify with music. I mean, one little girl there, um, her carer was saying that she loves country music and she'd found this song, Tell Laura I Love Her. Oh, You'll remember. Yes, yes, yes. None of them knew it, and I started to oh, sing I it, because we're yeah. old, yeah. and remember it. <laughs> oh, well, She's yeah, getting I right on the mic. <laughs> You don't want to give to me. You remember it. Like, you're old enough to remember it. Yeah, I know. I remember it. But, um, <laughs> so I started to sing it to her, and she just... Her face lit up, and I thought, you know, those are the girls that the mums look at, and that mother was, you know, was so pleased that... That I'd put a smile on their daughter's face, and I thought, just little tiny steps yeah. mean so much to them. You know, you just have no idea what it must be like to have a disabled yeah. child. And, and any help that can be got. Absolutely. But in what way for you, Linda, was it heartbreaking when what you saw? It was heartbreaking because, you know, you don't... I, and then most of us who don't ha have a friend or a relative with a disabled child don't even think about it every day of your life, mm. do you? You just don't. And I just thought, these ladies, the minute they wake up, you know, they, they love and care for their child like we do. And, and they've got all those hurdles to get over all the time and and the, the I, I don't know you must feel so guilty because you gave birth to them with this disability mm. it's just just but they were lovely though oh so they're positive. so lovely and they're really positive mm. um and actually laura was saying to me i said how were, were you told that he had this disability mm. her son and she said well the doctor just whisked him away and came back and said well the good news is he's got a brain but the bad news <gasps> is it doesn't work <gasps> oh, oh that's horrible. i know and she said i oh, she got no support <clears throat> whatsoever and wow. she said she just sat there and just... And that well, they're both inspirational. They, they are. Yeah, they're yeah. wonderful yeah. ladies and they're and really gorgeous raised... children. Yeah. Lovely, yes. lovely and, and, you know, as well, if you're, if you're watching at home and you, and you think, um, what can I do? Um, years ago, I did a lot of work for a, a children's hospice, very similar to the one we're talking about today, and uh, a neighbour of mine, and I spotted her. She'd been pregnant. She came home, and then things... I didn't know her very well. Things sort of seemed to change in her house and uh, eventually got speaking to her in the street and realised that her child, her daughter, actually had a, a condition very similar to that. And through my work with a hospice, I was able to put them in touch with each other. And it completely changed her life. And actually, all I was was a neighbour. So you don't necessarily have to be heavily involved with a specific charity, but if you spot somebody in your yeah. street that looks like they're going through something like that, and you have information that can help, just knock on a door. Yeah. And actually, you mm. can change someone's life. You don't know I the mean, difference that you can make. I mean, she said people avoid you, and she said nobody said yeah. congratulations when she'd had the baby. Yeah. You no, know? it's, so it's, it's the opposite of that. Don't walk away, knock no, on a door. Absolutely.